Dave here doing a quick video on my Motor Picane D52 uh, for anyone that hasn't been following this so far in fact for anybody who has this is the Dr Joe Ehrlich uh, boost port technology development machine this is uh, one that was done for Motor Picane back in about 1966-ish uh, they wanted more power out of their engines and they wanted better economy uh, so they approached de Havilland who had a small engine division at the time that was headed up by Dr Joe Ehrlich and uh, this is what he came up with they sent him a brand new bike uh, he took it to pieces did what he did and with his development team this is what he came out with uh, I'll just try and switch camera view here ah, as if by magic that sort of worked so this is the bike um, so 66 motor became d52 first thing you notice is that the cylinder head is about three times the size of the standard bike um, two reasons for that first is that the barrel that contains the boost ports uh, has takes up a fair bit of space it needs to basically be that wide to fit the ports in there and secondly according to ted snook one of the development engineers um, they needed it for the cooling. So this is the bike now back together. Uh, it's had new wheel rims on it, new spokes. That was quite an adventure. I'd never had to do that before. Still a few things to do. Not quite finished with it yet. I don't have the panels that go in here. It's supposed to be two panels there. I understand that you can buy them. Uh, the other thing I need to do this rather nice chrome panel came with the bike unfortunately the one that goes on the other side well that's slightly less pretty that's um i think best described as proper nasty uh so i've got to try and get a replacement or get that one stripped and re-chromed i'm not not sure which yet i'll, I'll have to work that one out um the bike is missing a few parts uh the chain guard being one and I'm not sure whether that was fitted at the time um, that this bike was developed and raced uh, the story goes it was taken to the 1966 Italian Grand Prix Monza and uh, before Rex Avery raced in that race on one of the EMC Motor Company's uh, split 350s Joe Ehrlich was a guy who owned EMC and did all the development on that bike. Uh, before that race, uh, Joe had found out that there was a one hour endurance race that was done just for 50cc bikes. And he thought it would be a pretty cool present to give um, the directors of Motor Bacane a, a award. So he entered this little bike in it. It was ridden by Rex Avery. And sure enough, they did take the one hour endurance record. They hit speeds of 65 mile an hour and an average of 49. Uh, the record didn't stay for long, but it was a record and it was done on this very bike. I have a letter from Ted Snook that describes it. And I also have a letter from Rex Avery, the guy that raced the bike. And... Uh, they both confirm that this was the machine and that it did indeed take that record. So next week I hope to get to ride this. Uh, like I say, still a few little jobs to do. Really not very much. Got to connect up the throttle. Got to do the wiring. Although I might just put that in temporarily. Um, and that is basically it. It's ready to go. So uh, I'll do another video once I've done that. And I'll let you all know how it goes along. So I hope you found that interesting. Please like and subscribe. I've got loads and loads and loads of other projects on the go. There's one of them here. 1951 Stelvio. So uh, if you're into your bikes, then uh, like I say, please do follow me. Because I do have quite a few interesting ones that I've already done. And ones that are coming along still to do. Cheers. Bye now.